Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe and welcome to four great hair clays that you should know about. Now you may be noticing a little bit of color in my hair. If you missed the video where I got some platinum blonde highlights done, you can check that out up here. Uh, unfortunately, well, my hair was more gray than it is now. It looks like the toner is already kind of fading out. It's a little bit more yellow, but hey, I, it was great. Check it out if you missed that. Anyways, today I'm showing you guys some solid hair clay products. Hair clays, of course, being my favorite category of hair products. So I'm excited. I'm excited to show you guys some of the products that I've been testing out for a little while now. All four of these products are created by home brewers, as in people who actually create formulas and products in their own house. I love supporting home brewers because you can really see how much passion they put into their work. And often you'll get products that look and feel completely unique, but still function the same and sometimes even better than a lot of other mainstream brands out there. All right. Bloomon is not mainstream, okay? but Bloomon products are good. Also guys, if you feel like there are any hair clays that should be on this list that I haven't mentioned, or even any hair products that I haven't tried before that you love, definitely let me know down below. I'd love to get my hands on some new stuff. So let's start out with First Hands Styling Clay and the Holy Black New York Matte Clay. These both, in my opinion, are good options for people with shorter hairstyles. <laughs> First up, we've got First Hand Styling Clay, which has no mention of how much hold or shine or matte finish it provides, but don't worry, I got you covered. In terms of scooping it out, there's a bit of a waxy consistency. It feels a little bit like a hybrid between a clay and a wax. And this makes sense because the ingredients list kaolin clay first and then beeswax follows that immediately afterwards. One thing I love about homebrewed products is that most use nearly all natural ingredients. And as far as I can tell with first hand, all the ingredients are 100% natural. So everything that makes up this product is natural. That's what I can tell when I read the ingredients list. The breakdown of the product is fairly easy. Again, you can feel that slight waxy consistency in the breakdown, but overall, it's an easy breakdown experience. Application is also easy and nearly fully tug-free as well. It goes in very smoothly. Now, as for the result, out of the four clays that we've got here today, first-hand styling clay, has to me the least amount of hold. It feels very lightweight in your hair, which is fairly uncommon for most hair clays, and this is the main reason why it would be most suitable for shorter hair type. It's a great option for people who are looking for a more lightweight clay, and for people with shorter hair who don't really need help with volume, but you need more help with just kind of controlling your hair and uh, making sure you know it looks it looks all right. That's what this does a good job at doing. <music> Next up, we've got the Holy Black New York Matte Clay, which claims to have a firm hold and no shine, also a water-based formula, which all of these are, are water-based. So it says no shine, and that is for sure. There is no shine in this product. In fact, it's quite a dry clay. Out of the four clays, New York Matte Clay is the creamiest feeling and easiest to scoop out. And similar to firsthand, it also has a waxy consistency. In fact, to me, this product feels more like a wax product than it really does a clay product, but it does have kale and clay in there so it is you know it, it it is clay it has clay in there it's clay product so this is a very unique clay product it's not something that i've really ever experienced before when i was using this stuff when it comes to breakdown it's no surprise that it's super easy because of how creamy it is it's also easy to apply but interestingly it starts to dry very quickly the finish that i got was surprisingly dry definitely the driest out of the four clays so anyone who really appreciates a very matte finish you might like that. The clay is also very lightweight and when you run your hands through your hair, you can barely feel any product. It gives off a very natural finish. It doesn't provide tons of texture like a lot of clay products do. Instead, it leaves your hair looking and feeling very natural, almost like you don't have any product in it at all. And next up, we've got the two hair clays that I believe would work for uh, slightly longer hair. And that's mostly because both of these have more hold. First up, we've got Nostalgic's Grooming Clay, which claims to have a firm hold. First of all, I love the Nostalgic branding. Very old school and their products smell great, especially, you may find it over here, Fruit Scoops, this one. Fruit Scoops uh, water-based pomade it smells exactly like Fruit Loops, like exactly, 100% like Fruit Loops cereal. So I like that. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this clay simply because out of the bunch, 
This is most similar to traditional heavy clays, which I've talked a lot about on this channel. Now that's definitely not a negative. Some of my favorite products ever are traditional heavy clays, such as Cavalier Clay by Blumon. That's a traditional, is a great product. But out of the four, grooming clay is the thickest of the bunch. It's thick to scoop out. You gotta apply some pressure when you're emulsifying and it applies like a traditional heavy as well. You can feel it going into your hair, that, that thickness. There's a little bit of tug, but uh, to me, it's really, it's really not that bad. And the result, you get a slight shine like you do with most traditional clays with great hold and really good texture. Texture. It's a safe, solid hair clay. And finally, we've got flagship Dead Sea Clay, which claims to have a firm hold and it also says water-based, but they're all water-based. Now this one is fun to use. The consistency is thick, but it's also creamy at the same time. It's smooth to scoop out, but you still have to apply some pressure. And yeah, the most interesting thing about this product is definitely the consistency. It has a consistency that feels and look kind of like damp sand. Like if you've ever been to the beach and you grab some sand from underneath the ocean, it kind of feels like that, but not as wet. It has a certain grit to it, which you can feel during the breakdown. And to me, that really fits in well with the brand because I mean it's called flagship Dead Sea Clay. It makes sense that the product feels a little bit sandy. I think it, it just works really well as an overall package. However, that slight sandy feel does not affect the performance of this product at all. It's not like clumpy in your hair or anything like that. In fact, the result is pretty great. Amazing texture, great hold, and again, like nostalgic, it resembles a traditional heavy clay a little when you do get it into your hair. Also, my hairstyle lasts for ages when I use this stuff. Uh, I can easily go all day without worrying about it falling down or anything like that. The one gripe that I have about this clay is that it takes some effort to get it out of your hair and off your hands. You'll definitely need soap to remove it from your hands and uh, you'll definitely need some shampoo to get it completely out of your hair. Depending on how much you use, you may need two rounds of shampoo. But just like that, guys, those are four fantastic hair clays uh, that I've been enjoying. I think that they're great home brewers in general, pretty great people you should give them some support as well. Again, let me know down below if there are any hair clays or even just generally hair products that you love that you think I should check out. I'd love to get my hands on a few, maybe do another video kind of like this. With that said, if you enjoyed, please give the thumbs up the button that's down there, click it, that's nice. I'll see everybody next time.